a question that I had all the time as I was growing up and, and learning how to build uh, houses or how to stand or how to make attachments to the houses was the most important thing and that was the foundation and specifically the foundation excavation and here are a few tips that I'm going to give you if you're planning to do some work and actually comply with all the uh, restrictions or regulations that are made by the Department of um, uh, Planning Office and Construction Building Codes, okay? So here's the thing. When you're working, I dig a trench. We use shovels and stuff, you know, regular handheld tools. In this case, I mean, you can use equipment, uh, heavy machinery or whatever, you just hire some more people to help you out. But first, you need to trace the lines, and I use a lot of, uh, of this type of material. You can buy this, this is like a, a masonry a twine. And, and what you do with this is that you, you start marking the, the lines that, that will extend through the house. That's the first thing. Play around with the design. Uh, before you start making any holes or whatever, uh, put a lot of sticks, you know, we have these sticks that you can actually, this, this type of sticks, you can actually buy them at the at the, at the store, like Lowe's or Home Depot, and they help you out a lot. Now, what you're seeing, all these little crosses that, that, that I made over here, are to uh, 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 simply help me with the level. But you will say how, how this, this type of string will help me with the level, very simple, I, wanna, I want you to come over here and I want to show you. Um, we are creating a step over here. From that, from the end of the, of the excavation to here, we have a level. And from this line over there, we have another level. As you can tell, this little step over here that we made, we made it with a pressure treated plywood. Probably doesn't need to be pressure treated, but we made some grooves on the wall, on the sides of the wall, and we did that. So, this little level that is here is showing us that this is level. And what it does is that it has actually some some little hookups and you can put them on the string so you grab this thing uh, I already went through and you know level this up and all that so it's not a problem but what you do is that you put it over here and with somebody helping you you check out the level constantly of what you're doing so in this case everything is nice and level throughout the entire area so when the inspector comes you can see the little place that you see over here, there are simple marks of where the concrete is going to be poured. Uh, normally, they ask you for a minimum of 8 inches of concrete at any given time. And we are over exceeding the stuff I like to work with. Actually, some reinforcing bars uh, that are not necessary over here in the state of North Carolina. Maybe in the future will be. But for now, they ask you for 8 feet. Uh, eight inches of, um, of concrete at any given time and if you need to make the steps make sure that at least you have eight inches of concrete we are exceeding in this case we have 12 inches I kind of like you know a strong construction we reinforcing so here it is again go over made a trench and if you if you look over there you can actually see how nice and straight it is we use some decent shovels that are flat on the side or whatever, cleaning constantly all the edges and putting these little metal sticks with a little bit of a spray paint to show as we pour the concrete how this thing works. So those are some hints that, that I give you. We actually excavated since we have a, a terrain that is kind of accidented. So we, we went down a little bit deeper than normal. And again, it's because I want to actually create a nice reinforcing structure that will hold the bricks that are going to go or the blocks that are going to go on top of the structure and make it a little more stronger. I've seen a lot of deficiencies in a lot of construction and I don't like that stuff. I don't want to like leave one of my customers or my own house with a problem of foundation strength that one day because the water, because you know, inclements of weather, the, the place is going to tilt or as I'm seeing in a lot of catastrophes the wind will take the stuff away or will rip a stuff and probably somebody can get hurt or killed with something done in a not so appropriate way. So always go a little bit above and beyond what is the regulation is safer for you and be patient with the inspectors. They, they are just trying to do their job and, 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 and that's pretty much it. So those are my ideas. I hope you, you learned something from me today and I really thank you for everything, okay? Have a good day.